Ушли и морда. Welterweight Division matchup. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Palace Verdes, California, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we are from Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center. Sellout crowd expected here tonight, all to witness more UFC history. This venue's been good to the UFC in the past. Hopefully plenty more where that came from tonight. When you step foot in this octagon in New Jersey, you better be ready to put on a show because these fans understand what they're watching and they've been around since day one. They know a good fight when they see it and if you start trying to hold and hold this side of the octagon, be ready for the bluebirds to come on. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, caught him flush 
with the head kicks. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he landed. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. A little single collar tie there. Big ball from Westland. Now we get back to ring. And he landed the right hand there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Tough to take down, no problem. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just over three minutes to go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Just missing on the high kick there. And they separate. Misses with the left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Got the single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. Beautiful kick. Oh, head kick attempt, it is blocked by Lee. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely, both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Big head kick land. Engages in the single collar tie. Ooh! Huge block there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Right punch by this young man. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that'll rig your bell. Head kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Wow. What an end to round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. into these big leg kicks. Visibly limping here. Good punch. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Oh, big 
left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Thunderous lands his opponent limping a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. What a fight. And they separate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Keeping busy here in the clinch. Oh, that's right, DC. He is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. And he big comes knee. through with a big knee. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws it. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Kick to the body by Lee. Nice loop of punch. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and there's and a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a mat. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Nice triangle, nice triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous condition. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that right hand is on point. Takedown defense holds up. Nice uppercut. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on your feet right now. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Beautiful. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity 
to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at three seconds, round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man.